Day in the foothills takes a tragic turn for a family and its pet after a dog jumps into scalding water near the old penitentiary. Lauren Johnson has the details in tonight's big story. The dog Jasper and his owner were out for a weekend stroll when Jasper found what he thought was a creek, but it wasn't a creek. The water took his life. The whole ordeal was uh, pretty horrific. Jasper, a 12-year-old border collie, was rescued by Paul and his wife Carrie when he was five years old. And after Carrie and Jasper finished their weekend hike to Table Rock, Jasper did what he always did. He ran to cool off in a creek when he saw the water. I got a call at 11.30 from my wife, and she's pretty frantic, saying, she's like, Jasper's not breathing. He's not, and then she kind of, I'm at Warm Springs. You need to get up here fast. 150-degree water can cause third-degree burns. This water was 174 degrees, and Jasper lost his life seconds after his plunge. He, he died from uh, just from the heat. You know, he had a bunch of blisters all over him, but yeah, it really fried him. The scalding water came from the ground, the geothermal springs that give the Warm Springs area its name. I wasn't marked. I don't think anyone expected. Uh, hot water, geothermal water to be where it was and be that exposed. The water came up through the drainage pipe near the pump house because the Warm Springs Water District stopped their pumping due to the road work. We shut it off Sunday morning so they could go back to work on, on Warm Springs and up comes water. Frischmuth said they were talking about the dangers that Friday and then on Sunday the water emerged. It's heart-wrenching because it was the very scenario that we talked about on Friday, that potentially somebody could get into this. But nothing was done before Jasper lost his life. And hopefully, you know, there can be bigger steps in the future just to make sure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. Frischmuth says the water district is working quickly. The area is now roped off. They met with the city of Boise this morning and have plans to quickly create underground piping so this never happens again. Situation here will be in a pipe below ground and out of the public's uh, reach, and 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 we can't move fast enough. But it wasn't quick enough to save Jasper. And it just happened uh, yesterday, so you know, still working through the process, that grieving process, and just the trauma. I mean, just the way that he looked afterwards was, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big scar. The hot water was roped off in that footage, but that did not happen until after Jasper's death. Warm Springs Water District said that today's meeting with the city of Boise was to discuss zoning so that he can move forward with the solution swiftly. Live in studio, Lauren Johnson, today's six on your side.